boys and girls. Hello, can you wave for me? Okay, this is SDK Cathedral Sunday School. If you are at home, this is Christine, teacher Christine, and we love you so much. Today, we are going to bring to you service of the Sunday School, and we welcome you all, even if you are at home. And I want us to pray as we begin. Hands together, heads we bow, and we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today. Thank you for the children that are listening. I pray that you help them to understand your word. Use me to communicate clearly. In Jesus' name, and everybody shout amen. Boys and girls, today is Sunday. Today is? Today is? And why are you not in church? Why are you not in church? Because of coronavirus. Why are we not in church because of coronavirus? Because of coronavirus. Oh, because of coronavirus. Do you know, boys and girls, this coronavirus, we are told we need to wash our hands. What should we do? You don't just put your hands on water and you remove. You wash thoroughly. Another thing that we should do, you need to avoid shaking hands. You need to avoid? If you want to greet somebody, what do you do? You wave at them. And another thing, when you are coughing, you need to cover your mouth with a tissue. You need to cover your mouth with? Yes, you don't just cough any howly. Or you bend your elbow and you cough. Boys and girls, even if you are at home, today there is a holiday that you are celebrating. Who knows what holiday you are celebrating today? Easter. When we talk about Easter, what are we talking about? I want us to learn from God's word what Easter is all about. Yes, boys and girls. Long, long time ago, long, long time ago, there was a special baby that was born. This baby was so little. And sometimes the Sunday school children sing, baby Jesus, baby Jesus. And then this baby grew up. And he was a grown-up. He was big. And when he grew up and he was big, he did so many miracles. What did he do? He did many miracles. Who can tell me one of the miracles Jesus did? He changed water into wine. Another one? <laughs> okay. We were saying Jesus grew up to be an old man. And he did so many miracles. And you know, boys and girls, this miracle made the religious leaders to be so jealous and they plotted to kill him. What did they want to do to Jesus? Kill him. him. What did they want to do to Jesus? Kill him. Do you know why they wanted to kill Jesus? Because they had sin in their hearts. They had sin in their hearts. Do you know what, boys and girls? You and I also have sin in our hearts. And what is sin? Sin is anything I do, I think, or I say that does not please God. Good. Can we clap for your best? Ebu Makofi Moja too. Okay. Now, I want the children who are listening at home to say the definition with us together. If you are listening at home, can you say after me, sin is anything I think. Sin is anything I think. Anything I say, anything I say, anything I do, anything I do, that does not please God. 
that are not please God. Okay, boys and girls, thank you for saying the definition. Now, what are these things that are not pleasing to God, boys and girls? Killing. Killing. Do you know how children kill? You hate your friend. If somebody is coming to sit next to you, what do you do? You know that he's killing your friend because you're not loving that person and that is not pleasing to God. Sandra, you are stupid. Those are not pleasing to God. Why do we do that? Because we were born wanting to do the wrong things. Boys and girls, remember the Bible says there is none righteous, not even one. You are a sinner. These people are sinners. And you know what? One day when Jesus was with his disciples, this is what he told them. When we read Matthew chapter 26, verse 31 to 32, he said, tonight, all of you will, be ru will run away because of me. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Until you will be scattered. You will run away. Hey, and you know what? These people sent some soldiers to Jesus Christ. And these soldiers had so many weapons. Some had spears, some had... What do you think bad people have to beat people? What do they have to beat people? Sword. Sword, good. Kutusiana. Huh? Uh, they have... Different, some carry stones. In Kenya, we see people carrying stones. I don't know if these people carried stone, but they had different weapons. And you know what? What Jesus said that the disciples will be scattered became true. The disciples ran away. And you know, boys and girls, I want you to be afraid. Be afraid. Stand on your feet. I want you to run because you are afraid. All of us, can we stand up? Stand up. Can you run? You are afraid somebody is following you. Hiya, sit down. Do you know what? These disciples were running and they were hiding themselves. But one disciple called Peter. Called who? Peter. Followed at a distance. And he started warming himself with others. And when he was warming himself, a young little girl saw him and went and told him, Oh, you are with him. No, 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 no. I don't know that man. Another person, you are with him. I don't know that man. Another one came. You, I don't know that man. Do you know what? As Peter was saying this, a roaster crowed. And Peter remembered, Jesus told me I will deny him three times. Boys and girls, why do you think? Why do you think Peter was so scared? Why was Peter scared? Maybe because they would have killed him. Because they would have killed him or arrested him like they arrested Jesus Christ. Perhaps, like Peter, there are things that are making you scared. Like right now, there's something that everybody's scared of. Who can tell me that thing? Everybody's scared of. Darkness. Darkness. When you're running, somebody is beating you. When somebody's beating you. Now what one I'll open in, ma'am? Nyoka. Hey! People are scared. So many things. People are so scared. And you know what I know everybody's scared of? Corona. Corona, people are dying because of this disease. You are told you can't go out and play with your friends. You can't go to school. You can't ride your bike. And you are saying, me, ikitutu inanibo. Do you know what, boys and girls? And you are asking yourself, 
Where is God? Does he care? God cares. God does what? Cares. What he wants you to do that I want us to read together. Can we read together with those who are at home and those who are here? Can we read together? Trust, Trust God, God to bring good out of a bad, bad situation. Trust God to bring good out of a bad situation. This situation that we are facing, boys and girls, we need to trust God. That everything is going to turn to be good. And we will go back to school. Remember the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Cast your cares unto the Lord, for he cares. When you are worried, you can't go out and play. Just tell God, because he controls everything. He knows how it started and how it will end. Boys and girls, when you are scared, just trust in God. Peter was so scared to be arrested and he reigned. Do you know what, boys and girls? These people started beating Jesus. They were beating him. They were spitting on him. And Jesus had friends. These friends were women. They loved Jesus so, so much. And they started to cry. They are beating our Lord. They are beating our Lord. And do you know, boys and girls, Jesus was given a heavy cross to carry. Jesus was given a what? A heavy cross to carry. A heavy cross to carry. And this cross, let us all stand up and carry our cross. It is too big. Carry your cross. Hey, can you walk? Jesus was walking and he was falling down sometimes and he couldn't rise up because he had been beaten. He was in pain. He was even having a, 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 a crown of thorns. Do you know what, boys and girls, can you sit now? Do you know what, boys and girls, Jesus Christ was beaten. They were spitting on him because he loves you. Because he does what? Loves just, me. just, just hug yourself and say, God loves me. God loves me. God loves me. God loves me. God loves you so much. That's why Jesus accepted to be beaten so that he could take the punishment that you deserved. Boys and girls, Jesus was beaten and he was taken to the cross. And on the cross in a hill called Golgotha, a hill called and in that place, there were two more people. And these two more people were thieves. They had stolen people's things. They were not good. But Jesus was innocent. He had not done any sin. And Jesus, when he was on the cross, he died. What did Jesus do? He died. He died. Then one of his disciples one of his friends who was following, didn't want people to know that he loved Jesus, went and asked for his body. And then he went and buried Jesus. And Jesus stayed there for three days. How many days? Three, three days. days. And when Jesus was there, some women who loved him so much took some perfume to go and put in his tomb. When they got there, the stone was already rolled. The stone was there. Jesus is risen. And they were like, who took our Lord? Where is our Savior? And you know what? An angel told them, the one you are looking for is risen. He is not here. Do you know, boys and girls, today we are celebrating Jesus coming back to life. And I want you to shout. When I say he is risen, I want you to shout, he is risen indeed. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. I am with shout, power. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. When you are at home, can you shout together with us, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Yes, Christ is risen. Many people saw him. And then 
Christ went back to heaven. He will come back to take boys and girls who have believed in him so that they can go with him in heaven. Boys and girls, are you ready to go with Jesus when he comes back? Yes. yes. The only way to be ready is to believe on Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And I want us to bow our heads and close our eyes. Can you bow your head? Close your eyes. If you are here, boys and girls, the Bible says in Acts chapter 16, verse 31, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. To believe is to trust in Jesus. To be saved is to be forgiven and you are made a child of God. If you are here today, you want to believe in Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Dear God, dear God, dear God, I'm sorry for my sins. I'm sorry for my sins. Forgive me. Forgive and me. And make me your child. And make me your child. Wow. If you pray that prayer, know that you are a child of God. And do you know what, boys and girls? I want you to think of this story. And think about home. All of us are home now. And you make a mistake. And mom is furious. He wants to beat you up, to punish you. And then your brother says, oh, mommy, don't beat her up. Beat me instead. How would you feel? Bad. You will feel bad. You feel sorry for yourself and even for your brother. That is what God has done according to this story. And so our memory verse today comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. It says, God made him who had no sin to be seen for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. And I want us to read, all of us, those who are at home and those who are with me here, I want us to read this verse together. Can we read the verse together? 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. It says, God made him who had no sin to be seen for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. God made him who had no sin. According to our story, who was this who had no sin? Can we all shout? Jesus. Jesus. Why was Jesus dying for you and me? It is so that you become the righteousness of God. God. When we talk about righteousness, what does it mean, boys and girls, to be made right with God? So if you are here, boys and girls, God has forgiven you your sins. You've been made right with God. But if you have not believed, you need to believe so that you are right with God. I want us to say this verse, all of us. Can you touch your head and read the verse together with me? Even those who are at home, let's say this verse touching our head. Touch your head. Read the verse while touching your head. Everybody, three, go. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. It says, God made him who had no sin to be seen for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 20. Can we stand up and jump as we say our verse? Okay, can you jump as you read the verse? Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. It says... God made him who had no sin to be seen for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 
Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. I want you to read the last time with one eye. The last time with one eye. Oh, yeah. Can you touch one eye and read with one eye? Three go. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. It says. God made him who had no sin to be seen for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Can you clap for yourself? Just tap like this. Wow. So boys and girls, you know God loves you so much. And I want us to finish our class today singing our song that reminds us how much God loves you and me. Some of you know this song. Some of you doesn't know this song. It goes like this. If you know, sing together with me. If you don't know, listen. And once you get it, sing together with teacher Christine. Three, go. I have a friend who really loves me. He loves me. He loves me. I have a friend who really loves me. And Jesus is his name. really loves me, he loves me, he loves me. I have a friend who really loves me, and Jesus is his name. He died upon the cross to save me, to save me, to save me. He died upon the cross to save me, then rose up from the grave. I live each day to serve my Savior, my Savior, my Savior. I live each day to serve my Savior, for he is my Lord and King. Remember, boys and girls, God loves even those who are living in Spain. And so we want to sing with another language, just one stanza. Yo tengo un amigo que me ama, me ama, me ama. Yo tengo un amigo que me ama, su nombre es Jesús. Can you sing together this part? Yo, and you hug yourself. I said when you're singing, God loves, I have a friend who loves me, you hug yourself. Yo tengo un amigo que me ama, me ama, me ama. Yo tengo un amigo que me ama, su nombre es Jesús. Thank you boys and girls for singing. And that is the end of our lesson today. Have a blessed Easter. Remember to wash your hands. Remember, not shake hands. When mommy says you stay home, stay at home. Let's bow our heads and pray as we finish. Thank you, God, for teaching us. We pray that you help us to trust in you. And we pray that you protect us and our parents at home, that, Father, we will fear and love you always. In Jesus' name I pray. And everybody shout amen. Amen.